For almost 20 years, the IPCC has been making projections about what may happen to global temperatures if greenhouse gases continue to be emitted. This is good, because every scientific theory should be, in theory, falsifiable. So let's look at how Roger Pielke Jr. of the University of Colorado compares the IPCC's 1990 projections for global temperature increases with what actually happened since 1990. The top two orange lines represent projections from 1990 based on a 4.5 degree or 2.5 degree climate sensitivity. The bottom orange line is a 1.5 degree climate sensitivity. The jagged coloured lines show actual global temperatures and these show that real world temperatures are undershooting even the low estimate from 1990 of how warm we should be by now. We now look at New Zealand temperature projections from a 1988 workshop by the Ministry for the Environment. We then compare them with subsequent temperature measurements and to these I have manually added the four little blue bars on the hard right which are the figures for the last four years which you will note are hardly different from the average temperature from the 70s, 80s and 90s. I then cut the figures from 1985 and then paste them onto the predictions that were made in the mid 80s and we see that the temperatures that we are experiencing are undershooting even the conservative figures for heating that were predicted 20 years ago. So what can we conclude from this? The mid-level projections and the high-level catastrophic predictions of global warming are not happening. At the most generous, we can only say that the low-level projections of climate change may be happening, although maybe it's just natural variation. Mother Earth is denying catastrophic global warming.